I've obviously got to start this by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I know it's not like the 1st of January, but this is my first video back, so Happy New Year to everyone. And may 2019 bring you everything you wish for. <gasps> Cleo! <laughs> Welcome to today's video which is what I got for Christmas. These are my favourite types of videos to watch. I love watching people's versions of these. I love making my version of these and I've done it for many many years. I don't normally like to put these type of disclaimers at the beginning of videos but I know that other people want people to so this is in no way meant to brag. Um, I have never seen other people's videos in that way but maybe other people will I don't know it's not meant like that and if you do find it that way maybe just turn off now don't bother watching this um also I have a very big family all of whom are very very generous and um so yeah I know I'm very aware that I get more probably than the average person and that I'm sport rotten hopefully I don't act that way <laughs> I know I don't act that way um, my family knows I don't act that way but yeah uh the other thing is, I'm very ill. <laughs> um, I'm really unwell, which is why this is coming so late. Um, I've been having a huge flare since just before Christmas, and um, now my doctor has put me on steroids and antibiotics. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm feeling a tad, tad better. But um, yeah, so if you can tell that I, I don't know, I'm a bit different, it's because I'm unwell. I feel like you're a bit wonk, so I've strange you help it. Um, this is going to be in no particular order, I'm just going to be grabbing things from around me. Um, I'll obviously say like who it's from or whatever but it won't be like all of my presents from my mum and dad and then all of my presents from my boyfriend. It's all mi mismatched. Let's start with some smaller items. I will give you guys close up to these things. Um, in my stocking, Ben, my boyfriend, put these amazing Aristocat erasers and I got a lot of stationery for Christmas and that makes me happy because I love stationery. Um, they are just adorable. You get two Marie and then one of Berlioz and one of Toulouse. And they're pastel pink. Loves it. I got these two amazing pens from my boyfriend as well. This is Kitty's as an ice cream. I love it so much. And this one is a novel. Oh, and they look like, they look like um, ice cream cones. Adorable. Pen because people know me too well and I'm very transparent. <laughs> they're like fluffy ice creams but they're wibbly wobbly. They remind me of like Dr. Zeus. I love it. And I got these two pens also from my boyfriend which is a bright yellow rainbow cloud smiley face pen and um, I love it because I don't have any yellow pens. I got this one which is like one of those freak shake milkshake type things. Um, it's amazing. I just I love fluffy fancy pens. friend got me this one that's a pom-pom unicorn and I'm obsessed Then got me a Pusheen pom-pom USB charging cable and it made me laugh because he said he didn't realize that's what it was he thought it was just like a bag clip with Pusheen on it and the pom-pom but um it's got extra use too so and there's a lot we've got, we got a fair few Pusheen things coming your way again with the Pusheen we got these little hanging decorations one of them is unicorn Pusheen and one of them is Pusheen eating a pizza and I'm going to just keep these out all year round because I love them. Rainbow ruler from my parents, but really just from my mum because when I opened it up, my dad, my boyfriend, my boyfriend was laughing. My dad and my brothers were like, why mum, why? It says size matters and I'm just going to leave it at that. We got this amazing oh, rainbow candle from my parents and it is the most impressive reveal if I can ever get it open it's like bright pink and glittery and it smells like fizzy strawberry rainbow laces oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to want to burn that my parents 
since I got a Clinique uh, chubby stick set, which they get me every year, but last year I don't think they did, and I really missed it because I really love them. Um, and it comes in this really lovely packaging this time. Normally they come in little tins, but I thought this was really cool and different. Oh, I can't open it. I can't open it, but, uh, oh, there's the colours on the back. It's like a nude, a brownie nude, and then a purple, a pink, and like a rosy nude, which love, 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 love. This, I believe, is a candle that Ben got me. And not that I particularly like that song, but every time I read this, I go, I'm dead hell. Oh, that smells like, like, like old pick and mix, like old school pick and mix. Not like old as in like old and rotting, but like <laughs> old school pick and mix. Hotter than hell, pink and red. Yes, where's that gonna go? Somewhere in here, probably. These lovely candles, and I'm just never gonna wanna burn them. This is another candle, and I'm obsessed with this. Ben got me it, and it is a big one that stands like this, and it says feminist on it, because I am feminist. And um, yeah, I'm just obsessed, obsessed with the color. Doesn't really smell like too much, but again, I don't think that's one that I'll be burning, so I'm not, I'm not too mad that it doesn't smell like much. My mum and dad got me the most amazing Harry Potter makeup brushes. I am living for these. They are like different people's wands. We've got, whose wands have we got? Oh, I thought it said it on the back. Oh, it does. We've got Harry Potter's. Hermione's, Lord Voldemort's, Albus Dumbledore's, and Ron Weasley's. Um, and it's the makeup brushes, and yeah, they're my new prized possession. Then I got a few of these. Um, I don't know where the other ones are, but I'll show you them. But this one's a Hercules one, and it's um, notepads that look like the old school VHSs that we had as kids, and I just could not love this more. Like the illustrations give me so much joy because they just remind me of when we were little. And on the inside, if you open it up, it looks like the old videos. I love it. I love it so much. And Pegasus is on all the pages. Such a good present. My mum and dad got me this Catacorn Hottie, which I'm so grateful for because just before Christmas, I threw out all of my old uh, like Hotties and um, hot water bottles because they were all just like old and worn and I don't think they're safe if they get like that so I'm so excited when I next get my period this is going to be living on my belly <laughs> I love it so much it's really soft as well oh, so excited my boyfriend's mum got me this amazing perfume that I wanted for a really long time it is the Daisy Marc Jacobs twinkle fragrance new limited edition fragrance and i swear the only place you can get it is debenham it's the only place i've seen it i've looked for it everywhere but um yeah i smelt it once have not forgotten it and then was so excited to open this from her so that was one of the things i was most like buzzing for on christmas day also from ben's mum is this does anyone know what it is can you read that probably it's a spectrum Disney set um, which is makeup brushes and I just had to show you this packaging because I was absolutely blown away I just think wow look at it now I can't even figure out how to get it open let's try this way here we go so it opens like this and then inside this is amazing it's all purple velvet this bag that it comes in so well wrapped like this bag even itself is just gorgeous it says disney and spectrum it is of course my bay ursula <laughs> i just even this bag i would have just been happy with this bag as a gift um i'm definitely gonna take this as a handbag to disney world because are you kidding me and look at the chain it's like it's like petrol um like you know that like rainbow petrol oil stain vibes with these beads on it stunning then when we unzip it look at her as well and there she's just getting her life ready oh look at those brushes and it's all like velvety inside the brushes let me get one out to show you the brushes themselves are oh, they're trash i'm just going to throw them everywhere that's really upsetting <laughs> they are just stunning like look at that 
Oh, I love it so much. This is now my second. I was wondering if I had a third set. This is now my second set. I'm still a huge fan of it. It's like absolutely in love with this. Well done to Benjamin's mum because what an amazing gift. I seriously don't want to ever get rid of this box though. Like I feel I need to find a use for it for real. Next we've got a T-Rex planter. Um, which Ben got me for our house, which I am obsessed with. He actually got me it because I had seen this one and asked for it. And he was like, I felt like I, felt like I needed a friend. Uh, so I know you didn't ask for the white one, which is this one, but I got you it. But this is the one I asked for, which is pink and it's gonna go in our living room and I, uh, I'm so in love, I'm so in love. I want everything in our house to be exciting and fun. I don't want any boring items in my home. Uh, next, from my mum and dad, I got this and was like, really? A pair of Uggs? But they are actually slippers. And my mum and dad were like, they're slippers, but we know you're going to wear them out. And I was like, yes, yes I will. <laughs> they're these pink, fluffy um, slippers. This part comes off, but I'm not, I'm not going to get out. And so it's all crazy fluffy here. Um, and they were just like, they're basically the same sole as your Fenty sliders, which they basically are, which I do wear out of the house. Actually, they feel a bit more sturdy than them. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to be wearing these all summer. Can't wait. They're like, they're too, they're too nice to just be worn in the house. They're too fancy for slippers. I think the puppy definitely got a bit of this box. <laughs> I actually got two of these <laughs> for Christmas because... Ben got me one because I asked him to because I'd seen him and was like oh my god I need that for our Disney World trip and then my brother also just got me one off his own back because he thought I'd love it and I, uh, he's right so I think now me and Ben are going to have one each and be matching um, but it's up passport holders um, with the little house and the balloons and yeah I won't go into too much detail I just have a very strong connection to the film up so yes I love it got to me Kath Kitston um, Snow White notepad which I am just in love with I've got the mugs of this um, I've got something else of that as well I can't think what but yeah I just Snow White is my fave um, princess just because she's the OG and she when I was younger she was on I thought looked most like me with the really dark curly hair and uh, pale skin um, and I loved her dress the most as a kid and maybe still do um, so yeah she's not necessarily my fave Disney princess in terms of like what she does and who she is but she's nostalgic for me so I'm obsessed with this and I do love the seven dogs because we've always said I'm Snow White and my boyfriend is grumpy Ben got me a rainbow mug how amazing is that I actually haven't opened this yet and um, I actually think what I'm going to use, oh no I can't, it's pulsarine sauce, you just have to look at the picture because I can't touch that because it makes me want to die. <laughs> so it looks like a rainbow <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to use it for pens or makeup brushes like in my, um, on my vanity or something or on my desk um, because yeah I do really love that but I think it's too nice to drink out of. <laughs> This was from my bestie and oh, could you know me any better? Pestle fluffy notebook. Oh my god. I love it so much. I wish this was a handbag actually. Like, I could pretend it was a clutch. Walking to the room post first. I just love this so much. From Ben in my stocking I got my absolute fave. The strawberry college streets but it's just this isn't a giant one, which would be amazing, um, but it's just filled with lots of the strawberry ones, which I'm really, really pleased he got me because I swear this year the quality street tin had like zero of them in it. My mum and dad got me this. <laughs> and when I got it out, I was like, I don't know what it is, but I love it already. Um, and it's actually a notepad, but a giant one, which I'm obsessed with. And there's a space in here to put stuff in. But along the top, I was obsessed because it says, yeah, stationary queen, which I am. And I don't even know if my parents know what that means, but I just think they thought I'd like it. So, <laughs> but I'm obsessed. Even when like opening that up and reading that made it even like better. Like seriously, I'm amazed. Is this one that you could like hang? <gasps> I think it's one I could hang somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Ow, ow, 
Oh, my finger got stuck in it. My but still, I'm obsessed. And to go with that, I think it's matching. They got me this, which is also another notepad, um, but it's like quick notes, you know, that you just like tear off. Um, but yeah, it's fuzzy and it says OMG. I don't, I don't know what else to say about that, it's just pretty amazing isn't it? Well done mum and dad. Aha! Here are the other two VHS's Ben got me. He got me Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin because Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast and Hercules are all in my top five faves of the classics. Um, so yeah, and then I actually got my best friend the Lion King one as well. Um, oh, just, just too much. They're so well done. I think I might have to keep these forever. My mum and dad got me this. It's, it's just a beautiful mermaid and I love it so much. <laughs> I can't decide where to put it because I really want to put it on this bed that I'm sitting on. But I just don't trust my cats with it and I think she's too nice to be attacked by the cats. Um, look at her beautiful hair. This is like hair goals, this colour for me. Yeah, she's just, she's just a lovely little teddy. And that's it. But um, I love her. And they also got me this, which I thought was like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> It's a little bunny. I love it. It's so cute. And it can sit and it's wearing a little like dungaree dress and oh I just I love teddies. I don't know what else to say. I love teddies, okay? Oh another cracking pen from my boyfriend. It's a pearlescent pastel rainbow seahorse. Love it. Was a, this was a, just a cracking gift from my bestie. Um, look at this cushion and it says talk Disney to me. I'm obsessed. I know exactly where this is going. This is going on this bed and I've like designed what bedding I want around this cushion <laughs> because it's just so wonderful. I love her. What a great gift. My mum and dad got to me this jumper and I love it so much. Not normally like my colouring uh, that I like of clothes but I just think it's really like cool like it's compared to a lot of Disney stuff it's just a bit more cool and it's really soft and warm and I honestly got it out and was like this is so fancy like who's made this and it's from George Asda and well done George Asda because the amount of stuff I've been buying from you recently I'm obsessed and I just think it looks way more expensive than it is I love it so much like people would pay like 50 quid for this in Zara I swear to god they also got me a t-shirt which is also from Asda and I love the shade of pink that it is and it's Disney I've got a lot of Disney stuff I think because they know I'm going to Disney that like everyone knows I've got to Disney this year everything is Disney themed am I complaining? obviously not um, and then it's got this lovely detail on the pocket of Mickey and Minnie and the pocket's actually gold sequins but I just love that shade of pink like a like a peachy baby pink oh I love it ah this rucksack from my parents uh, which was one of the few things she says few things one of the things that I specifically asked for because it went in the sale and I was like that is such a good deal and I would just love to take this to Disney, land, Disney World um, it is this Calf Kitson, Mickey and Minnie and Donald and the Chipmunks um, why is Daisy always left out? it makes me really sad it's a backpack I, I must admit I didn't think it was worth the full price when it originally came out just because it's quite small I thought it was like a full adult size rucksack and then when I saw an image that someone showed on Instagram of them, we of them wearing it or with it I think even Kath Kitson might have posted it and I was like whoa that's a lot smaller than I thought so then I waited then when it went in the sale I was like okay can I have it for Christmas please um, I just love the pink obviously and I love how cutesy the little heads are done and it's got flowers and stars and I just yeah I think it's perfect for Disney World absolutely lovely and actually I say I wanted a bigger one but smaller ones are often like better for me really since I got ill and also another thing that I love getting for Christmas is new jammies because you want to wear them over Christmas but these I haven't because I've saved for this video but they are Pooh Bear jammies from my parents um oh hi Jo so cute so cute I could cry they were, they were the trousers and then it comes with a t-shirt which I love because I don't really generally like to sleep in a long sleeve top um I don't know it makes me a bit claustrophobic and this just says Winnie the Pooh and it's just a t-shirt and it's got Pooh Bear and Eeyore on it and it's just adorable. Pooh Bear with the balloon is one of my favourite like Pooh Bear moments <laughs> so I love but now I've got this 
I got a lot of socks this year and I couldn't be happy about it. I love getting socks for Christmas and I'm absolutely obsessed with the ones that I got because I had deliberately thought to myself, if no one gets me socks for Christmas, I'm going to Primark just to do a sock shop of mainly big fluffy like winter socks because I've been ill. I don't always like wearing slippers and I was like I would love to have some fuzzy socks right now when I was ill just find them really comforting and I didn't have any and I like because I'd thrown all my old like scraggy ones away that weren't soft anymore and then everyone pulled through and got me fuzzy socks for Christmas so I don't have them all here to show you because I've worn a lot of them and they're in the wash um but these I haven't worn these are the calf kits and snow white socks that my mum and dad gave me with the notepad um this is what I was thinking of that I knew I had <laughs> earlier on. Um, oh, they're just gorgeous. They've got, um, is that sleepy? I would say that's sleepy on them. Makes sense. Bed socks. Um, I just love the colours and the print and they are so soft. And then Ben got me these gorgeous ones. Oh, the little penguins and they've got little pink pom poms. And they're just really nice quality. These are from Asda as well, but just feel like... They feel just like just as nice as the Kafka Kitson ones, honestly. How gorgeous are they? And these ones, which are one of my faves, so I've been saving. Saving for a special occasion to wear these at home when I'm ill. Yes. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? With the pink pom-poms. I love them. Actually, no, I was deliberately planning to wear the more Christmassy ones over Christmas and the ones that are slightly less Christmassy now so that's why these are left. <laughs> Benjamin really pulled it out of the hat with uh, these two next ones which is really funny because they are both hats. I'm obsessed with hats, can you tell? Um, and I've wanted these two for so long and I was so excited when I opened them. They're Lazy Oaf hats which you all know I love. Um, this first one is a Lazy Earth Beret, which I'm obsessed with. Oh, it looks really dark on camera. It looks like it's black. It's actually purple. Can you see? It's like a really lovely deep purple with a big black bow. I know I've got the perfect outfit for this. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, so soft and lovely. And then this one I was obsessed with. It's a Baker Boy hat, which I don't actually own any of, but it was the fact that it's pink velvet that just drew me in. She wore pink velvet. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, I can't wait to try this with lots of outfits. I've got the matching bag, which I'm looking at now, and I'm like, oh, I can just. And the boots. Dead. This is going to make such a cute outfit. Can't wait to get planning. <laughs> it looks like I was like an evil villain stroking my cat. But I'm actually stroking my hat. <laughs> My mum and dad got me these really cute hair clips that are little ice creams and I'm definitely going to take them to Florida with me and wear them lots because I can't have any hair near my face, it's too hot out there for that. And they also got me the matching purse with the backpack. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute and I've actually been wanting a purse. I've not actually used a purse, like maybe at all this year, because I've got a phone case that has the card uh, slots in it and I don't ever really use cash. I um, just didn't carry around a purse but I miss it I really miss it and it's um I can't fit all of my cards in my phone so I have to prioritize and then I get then I keep losing cards it's a mess thank you mum and dad for getting me a purse <laughs> was where all of that was going um how cute is that I love how little it is because that would fit in a coat pocket I would need a bag just to carry a purse in which a lot of my old purses are like huge so that's really good ah another purse I just about died when I opened this because I really wanted it when it first got dropped and then it sold out and I, I just didn't get it. And then, yeah, I opened this on Christmas Day. I was very excited. It's the Irregular Choice Bambi purse. Now, I know if you've watched my Irregular Choice Disney collab video, you'll know that I'm not very happy with them as a brand. They treated me really poorly. When I ordered that stuff, I got a lot of damaged items and then replacements were damaged and they just weren't very good in handling with me. So, um... I myself haven't personally bought anything since and I did actually unfollow them on social media um, just because they were dropping a lot of cute stuff and I didn't want to be tempted to buy it but um, I did see this on Instagram and fall in love and then my mum got me it so well I say it was my mum and dad but like does, does my dad even like care <laughs> no he does my dad picks a lot of my gifts actually I've always said that I'm one of the I'm one of the weirdos I think when it comes to clothes and gifts that literally anyone in my family my dad my mum both my brothers my nan 
could go out and buy clothes, accessories, anything for me, and I'd always they'd always get it right. Like, I think I'm pretty transparent about what I like, so I'm pretty easy to buy for. But yeah, I know a lot of people can't say that they trust their dad to necessarily buy their clothes, but yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful purse, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna have too many purses when I go to Florida. That's that's the truth. made me die when I opened these on Christmas because I was so excited and she was like I don't really understand why, why she was like I really love them for you but I don't really understand why there's multiples of the same thing and I was like what I was like mum what are you talking about she was like, like why would you get like normally in a pack you get different socks why would you get like three pairs of the same sock and I was like mum you ha I haven't <laughs> so this is what they come like and they're amazing, it's got a roar on it, it says, I will go like this, so it's Disney and Beyonce, what more could I want from life? Um, yeah, she just thought that, th like, that th this was the pairs, what all this, I was like, no mum, that's a pair. <laughs> that's a pair. <laughs> and then we got Cindy's a pair at the back. Um, how cute are they? I love them so much. But yeah, that was just really fun. I think they'll always remind me of that, because I was just like, mum, like, did you really buy them and not, not, not look? Strange. I love my mum, but she's a weirdo. Literally, this whole bag was full of socks because it's just more. There's just more socks now. These are just stunning. These, I know they're bed socks, but I would class these as fancy socks. <laughs> I would only wear them if I was going somewhere fancy. They're calf kits and Bambi. And on one you've got Bambi, and on the other you've got Thumper. But they're just like so nice and fancy <laughs> they're like knitted they're so precious i love how tiny the little embroidery is oh i love it so much my mum and dad got me these i love them i did get these and i got another pair from these are both my from my parents uh this is a bear little dog dog there's dogs on the pictures, so I'm going to go with dog. Um, those really, you know, those fluffy, those good <laughs> socks. I'm like a sock connoisseur. Listen, when you are ill and you spend a lot of time being ill and at home being ill, you need to find ways to comfort yourself and things that you find comforting because I'm often in a lot of pain, blah, blah, blah. We like fuzzy socks and my mum and dad actually got me another pair and I'm annoyed at myself that I wore them because they come in this package where it's like the body and the head and they were unicorns and they've actually got a little unicorn like foamy horn coming off of them and but I've worn them so sorry. Last pair of socks, I'd seen these on the Disney website and I was going to buy them in the Boxing Day sale. Um, they come in the Pixar ball which I just think is so cool and my mum my mom on Christmas Day looked at Ben and was like now she can hang that on the tree and every year you've got to fill it with new socks. I was like... That's a brilliant idea. Um, let's open them up. Here we go. I don't think I'll ever wear these because I think they are too special and precious to me. Maybe I'll wear them in Florida. They're up socks. I just love them so much. They're so well done and they're so soft. This one's got the um, bird on it, but uh, I love them so much. They're really lovely. I just, I just can't. Okay, now we've got some homey items. I just cannot express how in love with this I am. This was from Ben, my boyfriend. It's a cookie jar. It's got the little, little, a little, little, the little <laughs> Mickey Mouse on top. But I just think the print is so stunning. And it's like different colour. Like if you had it facing out that way, it's a total different colour way to the way I have it facing, which is actually this way, just because it's more pastel for our kitchen. But it's Donald and Daisy. Oh my god, just... <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's like too nice to put biscuits in. Do you know what I mean? I love it so much. <sighs> I was going to be so devastated about packing away my Christmas biscuit tin because um, it's a gingerbread house and I'm obsessed with it but now that I've got this I can, I, it eases my pain a little bit. Ben also got me these. <laughs> I love them so much. I'm scared that that's going to come off because I've had that happen with glasses before so again I'm not scared to use these. We have a lot of stuff and no one's allowed to touch it okay. Uh, they're glasses, they're Pusheen and it says you and me on them. Oh, just precious. 
I don't know which is which, who's who, out of me and Ben. Hmm. <laughs> Very cute. Ben also, I love, I love cups and think just, just various things to drink from. Um, this, a few of my like, what I, I call these sippy cups, like, like, you know, like the baby sippy cups. That's what I call them. Um, I don't know that you'd class them as that, but that's what I call them. Um, and a few of mine have got, they get a bit grotty. Um, so after, after a while, like I don't, I don't get them and chuck them out every week, but I've had some of them like years. Um, so yeah, Ben got me this one to replace it, which is from Wreck-It Ralph 2, which is vanilla pea and all the like pancakes and kitties and just sparkly and the top looks like an ice cream or whipped cream. I could not love this more. It's my new favourite thing. In fact, still smells like the cherry vodka that I got very drunk on a few days ago. Yes, I have been ill, but my, fr my best friend from Australia who lives in Australia, who I haven't seen in like over a year, came to stay with us, um, came to visit and came to stay with us for a few days. So forgive me if I got a bit litty. <laughs> Both my best friends are really bad influences as well. I was like, mm, I'm on a lot of drugs and I'm really unwell. I probably shouldn't drink. And they were like, better to have drink in the house and not want it than want it and not have any. So we bought a lot and then drunk it all. So, and then I ended up running down the street with a wig and a moustache on, but we won't get into that. Also the first time my new neighbours met me. What a first impression. Anyway, moving on swiftly from that story. Um, ben got me this cup, which says feline good. And he finds it very funny. And it makes me find it very funny. I just think it's adorable. It's like polka dotty with the peachy colours. Love it. I do take water like to all of my um, hospital appointments, physio appointments, stuff like that. Mainly because I have to do a lot of talking and it just gives you a really dry throat. And then this one obsessed Marie and it says on the back because I'm a lady which I am so I love this more homey bits Ben got me a pusheen trinket dish which I'm very very excited to put out um just for like smaller earrings rings hairbands hair clips uh just you know stuff like that I, I love them I think they're really great to have things that was one of my new year's resolutions a few years a few years ago was to have things on show because I often forget, I am a person that has a lot of stuff, um, it's just like what's happened <laughs> for culminating stuff and I um, I look after stuff so it lasts a long time so I don't end up throwing stuff away. Um, anyway, uh, I like having things on show because if everything's in cupboards and wardrobes and boxes you forget what you have and you never end up using stuff and, that, and then that's pointless. So I love trinket dishes because they let me know that the smaller stuff is still there. And then I got more trinket dishes <laughs> from Ben, which are the um oh they're actually called these they call these keepsake trays. That's very Kath Kitson, isn't it? This is the Kath Kitson and Mickey Mouse ones, and one is Mickey and one is Minnie. I think they're so beautiful. I want to figure out a use for them to be downstairs with the cookie jar really, but like what could you use it for? Who needs like two tea bag trays? And we've also got a tea bag tray. I don't know, if you could think of a use for these, other than just to look cute, but then maybe I should just put them there, who cares, they'll just look cute. Let me know. <laughs> Obsessed with. This was from my mum and dad, and it's a pink bird, and... <laughs> don't normally like birds, but it's pink, so I love it. And I'm going to use this as a makeup brush holder, I think. Um, again, makeup brush or pens. I love it so much. Or maybe it'll just be in the background of this. You could put a candle in it. You could do loads with that. I love that. I've got to put it somewhere safe because it's it's a breakable. Should we put it up here? For now. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Um, from my little brother, I got. Yes, that's right. Mark Jacobs. Da -da -da -da. Uh, perfume set, more Marc Jacobs, can you tell what my favourite designer perfume is? Um, I love this one, it really reminds me of, it really reminds me of a specific time in my life, but I can't remember what that time was, but you know when you like use a, use a perfume like all year and then you change, it reminds you of that year? I need to sit and have a good sniff of that and figure out what it is, but it's just so nostalgic, I love it, I think it reminds me of a holiday. Maybe Paris when we went. I'm not sure, but I love it. I love it so much. So that was a lovely gift. And he also got me. Oh, 
this bad boy <laughs> jeez louise uh which is yeah a giant soap and glory set which has lots and lots of goodies in so very very spoilt i am so these are kind of like were like my main presents from people um so from ben he got me pandora bracelet and he not only got me so first of all i opened the, the bracelet and it's a bangle and it's um the disney one disney, i think it's called disney disney memories maybe uh, i definitely have to give you a close up so it's got loads of little like uh crystal mickeys um on on the clasp but then he got me one two three four five he got me six beads which is just crazy i was very spoiled he got me uh the seven dwarfs it's all of their faces the snow white book which is like loads of little apples and the book hangs down uh snow white's portrait in a heart which is just beautiful figaro which i nearly about cried when i opened that figaro's head which is the cat from pinocchio which is what we named figaro after but also it looks like cleo our other cat so it's like i love it um pooh bear's head <laughs> also nearly cried to know that one and then we've got uh, mickey and minnie in their like vintage car which oh I, I couldn't love that anymore if i tried so yeah ben um knows how to go over the top let's just say it that way you know normally you'd get the bracelet and then next christmas you'd get a charm uh ben just bought me the whole shop um <laughs> i am a very very lucky girl let me just say that for sure don't think i don't know it because i do This bracelet from Pandora was from my best friend and it's like a snowflake bangle absolutely stunning and I was worried that both neither of these would fit on my wrist I've got like chubby wrist anyway I think for a lady I always have had I think and then also I get swollen so I worry but they're both they're both lovely so yay from my parents also got pandora and they said that they didn't coordinate this it was just like an accident that they all got me pandora stuff um but i've worn this like non-stop this and the bracelets i've worn non-stop it's a really long chain which i love but it's also adjustable but it's a uh, mickey head um locket and then you can actually open it up and fill it with things and they got me two little charms to go inside which are mickey and minnie so yeah i have to um give you a close-up of how stunning that is because I love it so much we're on the jewellery part uh, Ben got me this amazing up Disney pin and I've never bought pins not at the park but this was just one that I saw online and me and Ben were like we can't miss out on that like we have to just buy it because what if it's not there when we go um, and it's Adventure is Out There and it's actually the Up House, um, which I, love, I just love it so much I could cry. Um, I can't wait to put that on our pin board. We actually have a Disney pin board in our house and yeah, I've got a lot of Up ones. So I'm excited to put that in amongst it. I love how colourful it is. So I'll give you guys a close up of that. And then... I got spoiled from one of my favourite places to get jewellery from which is I Love Crafty um, she's like a smaller business and I just absolutely adore her stuff I own a lot of stuff of hers already I definitely wasn't expecting all of this brand new for Christmas um, so I was over the moon I don't know which ones these are going to be as I open them up oh this I wore on Christmas day because it's just perfect it's um, a Christmas kitty necklace uh, and it's a kitty face with a big giant red sparkly bow. <laughs> I think it's so sweet. I love it. I love how red it is as well. It's like proper Dorothy's ruby slippers red. Um, I'll definitely give you guys close-ups of these because you don't, you definitely won't be able to see. <laughs> the detail in them, which is really what makes them special. 
this i died i knew i had to have this when she was going to release it it's actually a kitty in a snow globe in a necklace and the snow globe actually like works like you can can you hear that you can shake around oh my cat heard it <laughs> you can shake it around it actually like snows on the little kitty and the kitty's wearing a hat and scarf and all i really want to wear this today now it's so cute Okay, don't, 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 don't sue me. <laughs> I got these Kitty Snowflake earrings. They're just gorgeous. I'd wear them all winter, to be honest. I don't care if it's not Christmas because they're kitties and they're like just iridescent. They're just stunning. And then this Kitty necklace and she's got like an icicle um, headband, floral crown going on. Um, look at her beautiful face. It's so funny, my boyfriend pointed out, and it's so true, that a couple of years ago all of my stuff was like dog themed for Christmas and now it's all cat themed because we have cats. <laughs> and then this last one, it's hard to show you really, it's two little kitties and they're having a snowball fight. There's like snowballs thrown through the air and like swirlies and one of them's throwing it and one of them's catching it. <laughs> I love it so much. Apparently it's going to snow in the next couple of days so, oh my god I should take pictures in the snow with these, that would be so perfect. gift I truly 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 was not expecting at all like a lot of my gifts I wasn't expecting but a lot of them I was because just when you get to this age you ask like everyone goes what, what do you want rather than like just spending your money on stuff that you, the person's not gonna want a lot of people say like especially well, in my family anyway we all go what do you want oh I'd like this okay cool um it's nice to get stuff that's a surprise as well but this I just like nearly cried because they wheeled it out and it was a huge present which you're obviously going to see in a second um and i could not think for the life of me what what present they would have got me that would be that huge and then even as i opened it it was in a special bag which i've obviously taken out to show you but i i was like i have no idea what this is and then literally i'd said to my mum a few days before christmas oh my god the, the sale on ted baker's website has already started I really want this suitcase for Florida, it's my dream suitcase, I've actually wanted it for years, but it's finally gone into the sale, I think I should buy it, um, and I don't even know what her response was, but she must have been very clever about it because I didn't buy it and she had already bought me it, so this is from my parents and oh, I love it so much, it's like too nice to, I want it on display somewhere, but it's like too big, but like, I definitely can't just put it in the loft like any other suitcase because it's so special. Look, look at this. It's pink with like rose gold details. It's got bows all over it. Oh my god, it's absolutely huge. Oh, I can barely lift it. The wheels have rose gold, like all of the handles are rose gold. It is absolutely stunning. It's my dream suitcase, so I am. Oh, I love it so much. You best believe your girl is wrapping that suitcase in cotton wool and bubble wrap and the protective bag it came in <laughs> carrying it into the airport. I'm so scared. I look I already know they always damage your suitcases, even if they just knock them. And that's a pale pink and I'm just gonna be so upset when that happens. But they just chuck them on, don't they? Oh I love it so much. I don't want any harm to come to it. <clears throat> Moving on. Um so I got a load of lush bath bombs um that were the christmasy ones from my boyfriend um and a bottle of snow fairy my fave but they're all like half used in my bathroom can't really show you them um but i did get my mum and dad got me in bed knees matching bubble baths <laughs> mickey and minnie i don't know where they got them but they're so precious and neither of us want to use them we're just leaving them on display in our bathroom because they're so cute I suppose you could use them and then fill them up with your favourite bubble bath, that would be an idea. My brother and his girlfriend got me the Ursula face mask, which I cannot wait to use. Delightfully wicked. I am Ursula. I think ever since I dressed up as Ursula, I've like, just solidified that now I'm Ursula. I was always the Queen of Hearts when I was skinny and now 
I'm a fabulous fat bitch. I'm Ursula, so <laughs> I have no problem with that. It's definitely not a bad thing. Um, they also got me a Disney bath bomb, Disney bath, Mickey bath fizzer. <clears throat> My parents got me these and I just think they're the coolest things ever. So first of all I got this, Harry Potter Golden Snitch Bath Fizzer. What? That's amazing. And it's absolutely huge. I could kill a burglar if they broke in with that. Jesus. And then, <laughs> matching with that, I got a Hedwig hand cream. Oh, it's the cutest thing ever. And a Crookshanks lip balm. A little kitty little balm. Oh my god, I'm just... A lot of Harry Potter, a lot of Disney, good times. And then from my brother and his girlfriend as well, they got me this, the Disney villain board game, which is now my favourite board game. I'm obsessed with it. I've played it as every character now, I think. Maybe apart from one. Um, it's, it's quite complicated to begin with. It seems really long-winded when you read it, but actually once you get into it, it's really easy. And it's just so well done. There's so many touches back to the films that if you're a real big fan and you like you'll enjoy it if you're not but even if you're a real, if you're a real big fan like me and you know details about the films little things on the cards or like the pictures and oh it's just I don't want to give it away in case you bought it or if you're going to buy it but it's the best game ever it's so beautifully done you get your own board and you get to play as all the Disney villains and not all of them obviously six of them it's Queen of Hearts Ursula Prince John Hook Maleficent is that it? Prince John, Hook, Maleficent, Ursula and Jafar um, and they all have totally different ways of winning the game it's so cool, it's just not like anything else I've ever played and it's just beautifully done so this is one of my favourite gifts for sure and my boyfriend actually got me the Disney Song Challenge board game and everyone hates playing with me because I win every time and they're all just like please stop singing <laughs> I want to go to some sort of like gaming convention so that I can find someone that will play with me that's actually like that we can compete um, That's about it. If you did watch my Disney Vans haul earlier on in the year um, A couple of the pairs were actually for Christmas um, from my mum and dad and then my brother and his girlfriend So they were like my that was like my main present from my brother and his girlfriend were a pair of the Vans because they were very expensive um, And now me and Ben have matching Mickey and Minnie ones. See? I can't wait to wear them in Florida. Yes. Um, I think that's everything. God, this video is going to be long. Um, yeah, I'm a very, I'm a very spoiled girl. Um, I'm, I know how lucky I am, how blessed I am, how spoiled they all, they just spoil me. And um, yeah, seriously, I'm so lucky. Like seeing it all laid out again, I'm like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I need to write thank you cards to everyone, like just to, just to solidify how grateful I am for all this stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It'd be amazing to hit 2,000 subscribers. I feel like I'm so close, but so far. Um, I don't know what my schedule is going to be. I'm aiming to do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Fridays as I was before Christmas. Um, that might go down to one just because yeah my health has been pretty pretty scary for, for a really long time actually um, with brand new symptoms and stuff and like having to be put on steroids is like showing me how serious even my doctors are taking it and I'm having to have my kidneys checked every other week and so it's, it's just it's just a lot so um, I know you guys understand but um, yeah my schedule might change I'll keep you updated uh, do follow me on social media all my links are in the description box because I do post them more regularly. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have the most amazing January and the most amazing 2019. Um, and yeah, bye.